My name is Michelle Hicks, Principal Chief, Eastern Band of the Cherokee Nation. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about uh, our language program, uh, how we've structured that, and uh, where we intend to go. Uh, approximately nine years ago, we began uh, a classroom uh, which uh, consisted of nine students, and we, uh, that classroom began at the uh, Ch uh, Cherokee uh, Child Care. And, uh, you know, our intent was to create uh, a, a, uh, a language immersion class that hopefully we could take, you know, from that point and roll forward. And fortunately, uh, over the last nine years, you know, we have taken, you know, nine different age groups and uh, created a language academy. That currently, that language academy consists of approximately 60 students. Uh, you know, the, uh, they have the academy to themselves. We have uh, North Carolina certified teachers that uh, actually teach the students, and uh, we follow North Carolina standards. The fortunate thing is, is that uh, Cherokee is the first language of the school. And so, you know, obviously English, English falls behind, but, you know, with Cherokee being the first language, we still have to follow uh, state standards related to uh, math, you know, sciences, English, reading, et cetera. And, you know, we're real proud of, of the, uh, the academy. We're real proud of where the students are. And, you know, along with that, there's other things that we're doing. For instance, you know, in Cherokee, it's parental choice where you send your kid. Uh, and or you know children and so they don't have to go to the Cherokee schools they can go to public schools and so to, to make sure that you know the, the Cherokee children and, and other children in the public schools uh, are seeing you know a little bit of history and, and some language you know we fund uh, 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 positions within these public schools to make sure that uh, you know our kids are not completely engulfed as as we have in the immersion school but are receiving education related to the history and language uh, of our people and the bottom line is with our language is we we, we know that uh, you know as a native peoples that you know we're different and you know that's a good thing about the United States it's you know it's uh, there's so many different peoples here with so many different value systems but and native peoples you know along with the others have added you know, a lot to the foundation, you know, of our great nation of the United States. And so, again, going back to, you know, the reason we're putting so much effort into the language uh, is simply because, you know, it's, it's our identity, it's who we are. And, you know, it must be perpetual. And so that's, that's our goal. Uh, we've, we've made a lot of progress. We still have a lot of things that we want to do related to books and, uh, and technology and, uh, you know, obviously interpretations, things of that nature. But I'm real proud of where we are and I'm real proud of where we're going.